So I haven't done uh, an old school unboxing in a while. I, I guess I did the unboxing of the post protectors, but we got something really cool today. So this is from Victory 4x4, and I'll put a link in the description below. This is um, a roof rack, and I looked around at a bunch of different roof racks for the 4th Gen 4Runner. I've got a 2004 uh, Toyota 4Runner, and there, there are a lot of roof racks out there uh, the range in price from, I don't know, $400 to $1,200. This one is regularly $900, I think. I think it's regularly $900, and I had a, I found a 10% off coupon. If I can find it, I'll, I'll post a link to it. It may not be going on anymore. Um, so I got it for about $800, I think. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Um, let's dig right in and see what we have. <laughs> All right. So this is the, I, I believe they call the, the main, no, the front and side piece, the front and back piece are what they call the fairings of the video. Uh, this is the front, I mean, this is the, <laughs> the front. These are the side pieces. So, we're going to do a, a whole video. This is going to go straight through uh, unboxing and putting together. And I just have this moving blanket that I got from Harbor Freight uh, down on the ground here. So we're not scraping along the concrete the whole time. So, these are the two side pieces. And then this should be the front and back all the middle pieces and the hardware. Hardcore unboxing. This looks like packing material. This is probably all the hardware. This looks like the front and back piece. <clears throat> And I believe they call those fairings in the video. These are all of the middle cross pieces. And then here's our hardware. got some stickers. That's cool. I'll, I'll end up, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll put these stickers on my back windshield or something. Here's the, uh, this gasket goes on the front and back, which we'll get to and I'll show you. Uh, then we have all of the nuts and bolts washers and oh cool victory 4x4 JCR off-road thank you for buying American and I don't know if you can see any of these let's just get a little closer so I can make sure how's that look <laughs> all right we'll put those on the back window and then here are the brackets that actually attach it to the stock holes that we have already up there. All right, I'm gonna get this guy laid out and then we'll come back and start putting some of the, um, the hardware on. All right, a quick note about layout. So um, this is, I think they call it a fairing, the front bar, long on the sides, and then you see the middle ones here, and then this is the back. And then that's how you know how to line up uh, the sidebars. So you see their victory emblem here. It's gonna go like this, and this only has two holes, which will go up here two at the front, and the back has three, and it'll mount there to those three, okay? Uh, other thing about layout, these guys right here, 
So if you see this, the attachments that you can get for this, this is how they connect. They drop in here and then they slide onto the rail. Okay, so this side doesn't have any. The top has those. You'll see these two holes here. These are where the hardware is gonna go and it will go through the holes here all along into each of those and that's how you connect the middle pieces. So we're gonna put it all together but leave it loose so you don't tighten it down until you actually get it on the vehicle and then once it's on the vehicle and you have everything fitting the way it's supposed to then you go back around and tighten everything down. And there are a couple of things like this guy here that I'll show you as we're attaching it. You make sure it's slid all the way up um, before you seat it on there. Same with the back. So I've separated our hardware out here. You'll see there are 12 of the fatter bolts and then washers for those. Uh, you'll see here are a ton of the smaller boat bolts, washers for those, and then the nuts. The nuts are to use for attaching them to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, to those points that I just showed on there. And then the washer guys, actually, I just said that, didn't I? I, I believe these actually go through here, not the holes. Sorry, step one was to throw the instructions away, just to be clear. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so uh, these slots here, sorry. So now I'm gonna get some loosely in and then we'll come back and check back in. So we are good to go on this side. Um, I got the drill gun with, I forgot to show you that these are Torx. Uh, everything is Torx nowadays. But these are uh, Torx bit. Um, I don't know which one, just try your Torx bits until you figure out which one fits. The only thing earlier, so I'm sorry, I got this backwards. Um, I, I believe I called this the front. This is actually the back. Uh, the big one is the front. So the back has the two bolts that holds, and the front has the three. So the three is, uh, 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 the front is longer. Now I'm, I'll fast forward and just let you watch me put this together, or who knows, maybe I'll talk a little bit. So you get your smaller bolts here, right? You get your washers. You need some of your nuts because, um, so to on the, the back and the front, you'll do two and three. You need the, the small bolt, the washer, and the nut. You will, Throw that on there just like that. Bolt, washer, put it through. And then throw your nut on there. Okay, same thing, bolt, washer, nut, bolt, washer, put it through. Remember, don't tighten it all the way down because we want to be able to get it on the vehicle first and then make sure it's seated properly. So you want that to be able to move like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting these bars on. So I have a bolt, a washer, two per bar. They go in those slots and the holes that I showed you. This side's actually harder because I can't see as well as I did on the other side. I guess you can see if you look in there. And I just get it started. I have this on four. that's actually a bit too much, so I'm going to keep these loose also. 
work in there. Get it started. Okay. Same thing. Just keep going all the way down. Uh, the other thing is, I mentioned these slots earlier. I'll show you what those are for with these smaller bolts and this uh, weird looking washer. I don't have any attachments, so I think those four brackets are if you got the light bar cut out and the light. Uh, I didn't, so don't know why they gave me those, but whatever. And just to let you guys know, <laughs> this did not come with instructions. So, good thing you guys found this video. <laughs> uh, you can actually download the instructions from the website. I just didn't feel like it. I wanted to see if I could figure it out. And so far, I have been able to. So far, I haven't needed the instructions. Again, not tightening that all the way. flip this guy over and put this plastic seal along the front and you got to get 10 snips to do that because I don't know if you guys can see there's a piece of aluminum in there so you're gonna have to go through it with 10 snips So I got this guy flipped upside down. It's fairly light. I flipped it over myself. Um, we're going to get this on here and it goes just past the curve, right? So we're gonna get it just past those points and then start pushing it down along here. And you don't have to get it, um, what, what, there we go. See, you, just needs to go over that point just a little bit. And now we can we can fix how much it's on there in just a second. So we just want to get it over here so we can get our measurement and then we'll come back and fix that. I know that looks like it's snaking all over the place. We'll come back and fix that. So we've got it just past that point. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And then I've got some uh, 10 snips here that we're going to cut just past that point. And it's important that you don't take too much because we need that for the back, actually. There we go. Cut through that. And then push that on there. So now we're going to go back and make sure that is all the way on. Might have been a little bit more on that side, it's okay. All right. So with the leftover, we're actually gonna take, fold it in half like this and then cut it in half. Just like that. Cut it in half. It doesn't have to be exact. Rough cut's fine. Everything we do at Bushcraft Ridge is rough cut. <laughs> and then we're gonna take it to the back over here and put it on those points. He's 
points right here. And this is where it's going to sit in the back. It's where it makes contact with the vehicle. Put those on there. There we go. Next step is getting somebody else out here and uh, putting it on the vehicle. We'll, we'll look at the brackets first though. So I lied, the next step is not putting it on the vehicle. The next step is <laughs> fixing the brackets before we put it on the vehicle. Again, did I say I wasn't using the instructions? <laughs> All right, guys, be right back. So the front brackets look like this, and they have round holes in the bottom, and you have these rubber feet that you're supposed to seat in here, and if you, I don't know, push on here and twist, these guys eventually go in there. So we're going to take the same eyes we've been using, Gonna go through these two holes right here. I know you can't see them, but I, I promise you they're there. And I don't know what what how are we gonna do this? That doesn't go that way, so that only leaves this way. I'm gonna put this nut on here. Same thing on the other side with these two, and I don't know. I mean, so this is the way you're supposed to use this very front bracket. But if this actually lines up with my bolt holes, I'm going to take these back out and then bolt it on. Okay, so I just measured, and we are taking these feet back off that I spent forever putting on because these are exactly where my bolt holes are. So that's why um, it doesn't have a forward and a middle bracket. Maybe that's for the fifth generation four liner. So these will bolt in right to where the factory pieces were. Ah, these are just as hard to take off as they were to put on. All right. So the only thing you may not have for this install is RTV gasket maker, or um, it's like silicone RTV sealant, and you have to put it over these holes so that it doesn't leak. Also, I just realized I've been using a Torx bit, and these are 
keyed for Allen. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It still works, but these are actually Allen I've been using Torx bit. So, the very last, almost the last, I actually loosened all these up just so in case it racked weird and it seemed to be racking weird when we first put it on. Uh, and this thing's old and beat up anyway, so if we scratched it, I don't really care. But we're gonna take our gasket maker and then squeeze this out. And actually, uh, after I do this, I'm gonna go cut this bigger because uh, eh, it's not that bad. And these are our bigger versions, and I'm gonna torque these. See what I torque them to seven. Well. Eight, nine, ten. No. Let's give it one shot with the drill. There we go. All right. I'm going to get this other gasket made over here. And I know you can't see this. I'm sorry. I'm just squeezing the silicon silicone con silicone gasket maker down into the bolt hole and I'm making sure it covers the top also so it actually makes a good seal and I'm getting it on my clothes as well <laughs> and roof so see here's our other one that seated down in there and then oh we might have to get the might have to get an allen key down there to turn that one because it's kind of off to the side I'm not gonna be able to get it with this but anyways that's that's what we got you put your your gasket sealer on there to make sure no water gets in the roof and then do all four of them down. That's the, the bigger nut. I'm sorry, the bigger bolt. And the, it's the bigger bolt and the bigger washer. Then we'll come back when it's all done, take one last look around and see how things are going. I have all of the bolts that are attaching it to the vehicle, sealed, torqued. Uh, now we're gonna go around and tighten everything else up. So if you remember, we didn't, uh, let's hold off on that. We're gonna torque all these, to the, we're gonna tighten all these back down. Now I'm gonna torque these a little tighter than I've gotten those. These are the bolts that are holding it to the brackets that hold it to the vehicle. It's gonna, See how that feels. Uh, now I'm just gonna walk the whole, I'm gonna do the other side before I actually put down the front and back. Last thing to do, got all of those on there, pull down on the back, torque it. I've actually already done that one with the drill. <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up even more. So now here too, we're going to pull down on the front, pull down on the front, and tack it. Go. Down on the front. Got to get that nut from behind so that it'll catch. There we go. Last one. Now we do the same thing on the side and we'll do the final walk around. All right, on the very last bolt, uh, I cut myself. <laughs> so don't use a Torx bit, use an Allen bit because I kind of stripped one of them out and then I rubbed it over with my thumb 
and of course uh, metal burrs are sharp so um, just to show you that this guy is how sturdy this thing is you got to give it the shake test my wife will tell you when I build something you got to give it the shake test so this guy is on here Pass the shake test. Let's walk around and take a look at it. While I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> My goodness. So the profile looks pretty nice. You can see it's kind of a it's kind of a low profile. Um we got it seated in the front. It's got the cool little victory cut out there. Now you can get this with the front cut out for a light bar to go behind there. If I get a light bar, I'll just put it on top. I don't care about paying extra for the light bar to go. Let's see. Care about paying extra for the light bar to seat behind it. I mean, I could probably also just take that off and cut it out myself. But why? Just put a light bar on top. I'm gonna get up top real quick, just so I can see what you're seeing. So you'll you see the sunroof still has plenty of clearance. Oh, hey, there's my gasket lid. The the sunroof still has plenty of clearance to do like where the back part comes up or where it slides in, and it extends the full length of the vehicle. I guess. Really, the only other thing to check out is um, to let you know that, you see, that's where those feet sit. Is that when you open this guy, what kind of clearance we have here, bloop, you're good. So if you were going to ask, does it clear the spoiler? Yes, it does. I mean, there's only one more test, right? And that's to... Uh, have somebody get up there. It's not really an easy way to climb up here. So <laughs> let's uh let's do that test later. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all from for today it's about to rain if you like the video like share subscribe do what you do leave questions and comments below to let me know what you think and I'll see you on the ridge